Good evening once again and a very warm welcome to RTV News with me, Ethan Tashabia. This Saturday, President Paul Kagame received a delegation from Democratic Republic of Congo. According to the presidency, the Congress delegation delivered a message from DRC President Felix Kisegedi in view of the rather on the good bilateral relations between Rwanda and the DRC. President Kagame discussed with the delegation on how to advance further existing cooperation between the two neighboring countries. According to the tweet posted by Village Lugiro, the visiting delegation also briefed President Kagame on political situations in the DRC and the political consultations being undertaken by the DRC President Kisekedi. President Kagame gave a message of support to his DRC counterpart, President Kisekedi, as he seeks a political solution to the hardships the situation presents. Rwanda and DRC have enjoyed mutual bilateral relations for a long time, but the ties have become even blossomed, rather have blossomed since President Kisegedi took power in January 2019. In other news, officials at the University of Global Health Equity have noted that Hamoe Festival, slated start next week, will help artists and those in the health sector review their role in promoting good health and welfare among local communities. This will be the second time the festival is taking place, bringing together artists and health practitioners from more than 20 countries around the world and will, place, will take place virtually over a period of five days because of the COVID-19 pandemic. It has been organized by University of the Global Health Equity here in Rwanda and the Wellcome Trust, a research charity best in London. We hope that uh, first we will interest uh, the audience about this very important topic that uh, it should be a matter for all of us. WHO shows that globally one in three persons would have a mental health problem of different sorts during their life. So it could be any of us, it could be people around us. So learning about it is important. Learning about what is a mental health, what is mental illness, what, what is mental health opposite to the illness and the disorder? And how do you maintain yourself in mental health in difficult time? Coping is also very important, and we'll talk about that in that session, for example, to relay uh, the questions about arts and in times of COVID. So that's, that's uh, the main expectation, to disseminate uh, research, disseminate ideas, disseminate the work that some the good work that some people are doing, and also um, discuss this important topic, mental health. The Wellcome Trust is an independent uh, global foundation, charity foundation, that is interested in funding uh, research into science, questions about science. And uh, our new strategy uh, puts a focus on infectious diseases, but also on mental health. Um, we're very interested in understanding some of what makes mental health and how we can create a better community for everyone in the future. And in that way, we are super, very delighted <laughs> to be partnering with UJG for their second Hamway Festival, which focuses on themes of social justice and mental health. We would like to thank UJG, the Hamway Festival, as well as the government of Rwanda for the opportunity to take part in such a groundbreaking event and as we work towards a vision where a, 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 and a world in which no one is held back by mental health problems. In other news, district officials in Kamonyi have noted that even though their district has 40 factories, only four can be considered large with all others relatively small. They have noted that an increase of large-scale industries would mean more jobs for their local residents. Sergeant Ori has more. Industries in Kamonyi district are always bustling and local residents point out that factories don't always have to be located in Kigali because taking them elsewhere helps develop the country faster and on a more linear scale with jobs provided in areas that might otherwise be considered rural. The companies operating in Kamonyi have been looking to expand their operations, which has been welcomed by local residents and leaders alike. We have been providing jobs, 
as a way of fighting unemployment. Because when we started our company, we had just 12 employees and now we have 96. We intend to move to a larger factory so that we can compete with products from abroad. And when we do, our workforce will grow to at least 300 strong. District officials in Kamoni have noted that even though their district has 40 factories, only four can be considered large, with all others relatively small, though this is slowly changing. They have noted that an increase of large-scale industries would mean more jobs for their local residents. Be it food processing plants, breweries and other products, local residents need them all. When it comes to coffee, we are fortunate that all our produce goes to the processing plants, helping local residents earn more money and enabling us to produce processed coffee. It is also encouraging that we have seen many potential investors that want to come here to Kamoni to set up their factories. That means more jobs, more taxes paid, and the transformation of Kamoni. The 40 factories in Kamoni hire more than 2,000 people. The vast majority of them day laborers that earn wages. With bigger industries coming to the district, locals are beginning to understand that they do not have to always go to Kigali looking for work. It's far spent. Many thanks for your company tonight. Stay well and stay safe. I'm Ethan Tashabia. Bye for now.